adultery. Good morning, welcome back to BT. Tonight, the Winnipeg Whiskey Festival offers you the best in food and drink in the city as you help raise money for the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame. But of course, when you get there, you want to look like you know what you're doing. Here with how to sample like an expert, we've got Sive Marin joining us from Jameson Irish Whiskey. All right, so I, I want to look like I know what I'm doing because uh, for a lot of people, this is going to be an introduction to whiskeys yeah. and things like that. But it's not just whiskeys. It's uh, whiskey, scotch, and I've got uh, bourbon on the list as well. Yep. Can you give me a quick explanation of the differences? So essentially there's many different kinds of whiskies. You've got Canadian whiskies, American whiskies, bourbon, scotches, and okay. Irish whiskies. Obviously Irish whiskey is the most important. So <laughs> Says the Irish girl. Okay. The difference in them is the way that they're made, the ingredients that they're made from, the way they're distilled, and the way they're matured. So it's not just a uh, Canadian whiskey comes from Canada. That's, yeah. It's our, it. it's our no. recipes and our stuff. Exactly. Everybody okay. has their own unique recipes and own unique ways of making whiskey. Okay, so, so with Irish whiskey, we use malted and unmalted barley okay. to create the whiskey. So that just means that some of the barley is cooked, some of the barley is left uncooked. And this is the, the cooked and uncooked here, is yep. this? Is? That's what you've got right there. So this is the cooked? That's the cooked barley, the malted barley. Okay, and then we do some uncooked as well? Exactly. And, and those two are mashed together with this corn, and then they're added to water make a big grist, and then eventually we distill it. We distill it three times. Okay. That's what's special about Jemison. Every single bottle you'll see that it says triple distilled. Okay. So we- So that means that it's, it's purified. Distilled exactly. means clean. Okay. Yep. We distill it to about 90% alcohol by volume, so you have a very pure alcohol. Okay. So now I get in, I have my understanding. I understand what I'm asking for, my Canadian, my American, my Irish, my bourbon. And then they're going to pour me some. What am I asking for? Am I, because uh, I can go neat, mm -hmm. I can go on the rocks, which means no ice and ice. Exactly. Which one am I picking? Depends on your preference. Well, here in Winnipeg, it, it's pretty cold, so you want to use the whiskey to warm yourself up, okay. warm your blood. So we go. So, so we go with. Uh, so I'm, I, I can ask for it neat if I want to warm needs, up, or yeah. I can have it with ice. And then, uh, and then when it comes to the pour, uh, is it any different? Is it like a bottle of wine where I've got to aerate my whiskeys, or? No, not really. See, most of what most of the magic that happens with whiskey happens in the barrel when it's maturing. So when the whiskey's after it's been distilled, it goes into the barrel and it's that color. And it's this stuff. It's okay. It's completely clear. So we use seasoned barrels. We use a pre-seasoned bourbon barrel, and after five to seven years in the barrel, it comes out like that. We also use a seasoned sherry barrel. So after seven years, we blend the two of these together, and then you get your beautiful Jameson. So it goes clear to seven years later, turns into one of those exactly. guys. Exactly. Okay, and, yeah. then, uh, and then when it's all said and done, I go in and I, I want to sample like a pro. So, so what do I do when it comes to, you know, is there a technique for holding my glass, for checking things out before I sip? Well, the thing with Jameson is it's a very accessible whiskey. It's slightly different to what people typically imagine whiskey to be, like sipping it on ice by fire with a cigar, very pretentious. It's a very, very accessible whiskey. And you'll, you'll get that in the taste as well, and in the nose, I'm gonna get you to, to uh, have a smell of it. Sure, sure, sure. So, it's, it's very clean, it's very palatable. Okay. And uh, you'll find that you can drink it with literally any way you want. So I've, I have a lot of people who say they drink it neat. I like to drink it neat. You can drink it on the rocks, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. You can mix it with ginger ale. You can literally drink it any way you Whatever like. Whatever I like. And nose it by means I actually stick my nose yeah. in it. Yeah, so have a nose of it there. And what, am, what am I supposed to be smelling? <laughs> That's the thing. That's what people always say. What am I supposed to be smelling? But it, it's a really easy whiskey to get the, t the tasting notes and the scents from it. You have kind of those vanilla notes to it. Yeah, and very sweet. Very sweet, but it's a, more of a honey sweetness than a, than a sugary sweetness. Do you get this? And then I, and then I do something where the, the fancy guys roll the glass You can around, roll right? it around the glass, and then you watch the legs fall. And if you watch the legs on the Jemison glass, they fall quite slow and thick. So that's the way that the, that the whiskey clings to the glass. Exactly, and you see how slow the drips fall down? That's because it's quite a, it's quite a uh, thick whiskey because it, it's very, very smooth. After being triple distilled in a copper pot still, the, uh, the texture that you get on it is, is quite smooth. It's very, very, uh, very, very thick. So pick your drink, watch the pour, give it a nose. Yeah. Give it a roll and then enjoy for all the information about how you can help out with the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame and check things out when it comes to uh, the Whiskey Festival in Winnipeg. Fairmont Hotel tonight and all the details are on breakfasttelevision.ca. Cheers! Sláinte! Irish for cheers. Oh, there you go. In Winnipeg, <laughs> we say cheers. <laughs> cheers. Uh, I'm going to take a break. Still plenty to come today on BT. I put it in me pocket and I took it home to Jenny. She sighed and she swore that she never would deceive me. What the devil take the women for? They never 